Hey guys, welcome to another Mac Apps video for you. Today I thought I would do something a little different, a little neat. Uh, if you notice my videos, they all have the same format with a uh, text opening, some music in the beginning, and uh, the same at the end. I edit and produce and do all of my uh, video stuff within iMovie. Now, for a little more advanced stuff, so some of my playthroughs and a few of my reviews that I've needed a little more advanced stuff in, I have used Final Cut Pro. That is a more advanced video editor, but for the ones I want to get done and throw up on YouTube because I want the content to be out there, I use iMovie. So today I thought how I would show you guys, if you're a beginner, if you already know how to do this, skip the movie, wait for the next one, uh, I would show you how to create your first movie in iMovie. So uh, as you can see here, I've already got one of my other videos up here, uh, my Let's Play series, Dungeon Hunter Alliance. So I'm not going to do that one. I am actually going to do another video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be editing and going ahead and putting together my next video for YouTube, but I'm going to record it as an iMovie tutorial. So the first thing you want to do once you've opened iMovie, and it comes with all Macs. If you have a Mac, you should have iMovie. It's right down here, the little star with a um, video camera in the center of it. You want to go to, first you want to go to File, New Project. Now, I don't want to theme with this project because I don't want any kind of random stuff going on, so I just want to keep it the same. Now, this new project is going to be called iBooks Author. quick look review okay now I want it to be widescreen you can choose standard but it's gonna have a smaller resolution and it's not gonna look as good on any device uh, 25 frames per second you can do 30 but the, the, the way I record on my screen capture is uh, 25 so I'm gonna leave that at 25 frames per second and then I'm gonna leave automatically add cross dissolve which is the way you want your transitions to appear I always leave that there I change them uh, as necessary so then you will create that. Now once you do that, you will then want to import the video that you want to add into the, the video that you're wanting to make. So in my case, I go to File, Import, Movies. Okay, then I will go to my desktop. I will go to iBooks Author Quick Look. I will create a new event. So click on the video you want to put and then do Create New Event. I'm going to title that event iBooks Author Quick Look Review, okay? So make a new event so that way you don't have all your events meshing together and then hit enter or go down here and click import files. Now once you do that, if it's a larger video, it may take a good while for it to happen. In this case, this video is not that long and is not going to require that much processing time. So I may keep this video live while we're waiting. but. As, as we wait here for uh, the, the files to be moved over, um, you want to make sure that everything you do when it comes to making a movie on iMovie is as simple as possible. That's why there is a tool such as iMovie. If you want to do some more advanced editing with color correction and audio correction and add voiceovers and add you know a bunch of different animated effects to your intros and outros, iMovie is not for you iMovie is for a person who wants to drag and drop and easily update and change the way their video and audio reacts in a very short amount of time. So if you're looking to just quick edit some videos for your family, uh, for your uh, for your parents who want to see your, your, your child, uh, if you want to do just a quick little video that looks like you've taken a lot of time doing it, iMovie is for you. I have had people see some of my iMovie videos and say, wow, that must have taken you a month. And I laugh to myself and say, no, actually it took me 30 minutes on a program called iMovie. All right, now, the video is already processed. My video is here. You can see I'm scrubbing down here. I'm, I have my audio turned down. I have my audio turned down because I don't want you guys to be confused with, with the video and then what we're doing here. So I've scrubbed it down to here. So, what I normally do is, I turn my audio up, okay, and I wait, I see where I started talking. So, I started talking right there, so I'm going to click and drag. 
So I'm gonna drag all the way down to the bottom to where the end of this video is. Now, if you have separate pieces you wanna mix and match and uh, make a montage, you can do that. Uh, in this video here, I go all the way to the end. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way to the end here and see when I quit talking. So it'll be right here. All right, that's where I quit talking. And then you click and you drag. So you click and you hold, and everything you selected down there in the yellow will now go up here into what I call your work bar. Whatever you want to call it. I'm sure there's a technical name for it. I don't have one, okay? So the next thing that I always do is I'm going to insert some intro text. So right over here on your work bar down here, there's one that says show or hide title browser or it's got a text icon. Click on that. Themes will come up. The one I always choose at the beginning is a centered theme, and you'll want to drag it until you see the green line, which means it's going to be put there. Click it and drop it right there. Now you can choose your background for this specific video. I'm going to use industrial because I like the way it looks. You double click on that. And once you do that, you type in the title of your movie here iBooks author quick look review. Okay. Now, you select all that text and go up here to show fonts. You can change the color, so I'm going to change it to a nice little yellow here, and you can change the size. So I'm going to change it all the way to the biggest one, nine, and you can also change the font as well, but I'm not going to do that. Click Done. Now you have your font the way you want it. Now I'm going to change the duration of which this shows. Right now it's set at three seconds. If I double-click right here on that block where that text is, I can change the duration down here to 10.5 seconds. Don't ask me why I do 10.5, I just like it. Now I'm going to add a little audio down here. Um, so I'm going to go down here and select the music icon down here. And I'm going to add some Arcade Fire. Uh, I really like this song here, The Suburbs. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it. Now, if you see that I got it drugged down here and all of this background is green, it's going to apply it to your whole video. I only want it to be applied to just this little text intro. So I click it and I drag it and here it is. Now, as you see, it's gonna be five minutes and 15 seconds. I'm gonna double click on the audio. I'm going to change the duration to be about, let's say 20 seconds, so 20.0 seconds. I hit done or hit enter, so click done, and that takes it down to 20 seconds. Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna change your audio right here to go from fade in and fade out. So I always like my mind to fade in, so put it about right at two seconds, fade in, and fade out at five seconds. So that'll give a five second window from which it'll fade out. So watch what I'll do here. Now, the problem with that is it's gonna, over, it's gonna overtake the video. So here's the, here's the solution. Double click on the video, select audio, there's a little word called ducking. What this does is select the box right here. What ducking does is it takes all other audio down to 15% of its original volume. Now, listen to what it, that changes it to. Hey, guys, welcome. Now, see what it did there? It allowed me to have a little background music as well as my video audio being able to be heard. So, we're done there. Now, I'm going to go down here to the end of the video, and I'm going to add some outro text, which is what I call it. And I always like to add some cool stuff like this four corners right here. It looks really neat and uh, it's just really clean. So I always want to add the same uh, template there. So I always put thanks for watching. Okay. And I will change the time frame on that one to four seconds and hit done. And then I will put another one here right beside it. And I will put don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this go do that now uh, change the duration of that to four seconds and hit done and the last thing I want to do is don't forget to subscribe and comment and like so and oh and comment and like so once I've done that and I've got the uh, duration set to four seconds which is always a good clean number I'll go back to my audio I will pull from the same song the suburbs and I want to end with that song too. So you can drag it and drop it and do whatever you want to do with it. So then I want to make sure I double click on the audio and I want to fade in and fade out the same amounts that I showed you in the beginning and select done. 
Now I can go in here and I can add a little uh, lower thirds, which if you don't know what a lower third is, I can go in here and go to the text and I can add a lower third, which is like what this is right here, the paper lower third. So I can go in here, I can drag and drop this lower third. It's gonna be all my video, but I only want it to be just a select selection of my video. So I'll select it and I'll change it to 15.0 seconds. That'll drag it here, and then I want to drag this over here to where I start talking about the application. So then once I'm there, the name of the application is iBooks Author. The price is free, so I want to make sure I make that apparent. And now, during this video, right here when I start talking about it. Today, we've got a uh, application that was released by Apple a few weeks ago. The name of the application is iBooks Author. So as you see there, I want to go where I start talking about it, which is about right there. So now when I talk about it, it's going to have the little lower third down there that says the name of the app. Now, once I've cleaned this up, I've got the audio the way I want it, the video the way I want it, here is what you need to do. Once you get done with it, you want to export this video. This is very, very important. Go up here to the iMovie tab, go to Share, Export Movie, and then you want to name the movie. So iBooks Author Quick Look Review. Always keep it at 720p HD. Now, if you want to go large or medium or mobile or even HD 1080p, which is even higher resolution, but if you are doing this for YouTube, that will take forever. And then select export. I'm not going to do it now because I just don't want to do it on the video, but that's how you do it. So, guys, this has been a video about iMovie, a quick, quick review, or not review, but a quick, quick look of how you can make your first movie in iMovie. So, hopefully, this helped you. If you have any questions or suggestions or concerns, Comment below. Don't forget to like and comment. Subscribe. Uh, it's been real. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. It was the year I crashed my motorbike. I think it was the summer. I think you whispered when you gonna.